Ready for a road trip? Come to Stanton, Virginia, where the Shenandoah Music Trail is celebrating the music-making tradition. Augusta County's new exhibit, Music and Miniatures of Note, a collection of rare and unique instruments, stories of local musicians, with recorded and live music. Artist Gary Whistleman has created miniature dioramas for your enjoyment. Now open through September 6th, come to the R.R. Smith Center for History and Art in Stanton, Virginia, and don't forget your instrument. Closed captioning for this program is sponsored by the Stanton Lions Club. Oh, there. We have a new producer. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, Tim Bigger. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our show today. And I'm totally, totally thrilled to be playing music with other people today besides Martha. And no, I can't say that, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our show. As you can tell, I'm surrounded by a bunch of musicians, and I am thrilled to be playing with Pete Bigger and his wife, Ellen. We are totally thrilled. They're from Whitehall, Virginia, if you're keeping your map out there, or somewhere near Charlottesville. And they're going to start us off with a song called Lynchburg? Lynchburg Town. Lynchburg Town. Shenandoah Music Trail. The Music Trail is a non-profit organization bringing music makers and their audiences together since 2010. Welcome to the Mountain Music Show, recorded right here in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley in our studio at the Frontier Culture Museum in Stanton, Virginia. Hosted by the internationally acclaimed music duo, Me and Martha. When they share their music, it's the next best thing to being here. We hope you enjoy the show.
tune was from Charlie Poole and the North Carolina Ramblers, Come Take a Trip in My Airship. And uh, that was an old pop song from about 1903 that he reworked and I think improved the song a lot. And Ellen and I added the second verse sort of in his style. And uh, it comes out as a nice love song. We'll do another one. This is the Dallas Rag, which we learned from a recording of the Dallas String Band who recorded it in the late 20s. Ellen, take it yeah, away. The late 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, you have to say the 1920s. Okay, one, two, three, four.
our spotlight showcase today is sponsored by AARP Virginia, by seniors, for seniors, and lovers of mountain music. Our friends Pete Nell and Vigor stop by to pick a few tunes. They are well-loved and respected in the old-time music community. It was our first time playing with these two master musicians, and we had a great time playing some new tunes. Four potatoes. Okay, I think we're ready. One, two, three. Yeah, I was not supposed to do four potatoes, wasn't I? Yes, but okay. you counted. I like that. <laughs> you like it better? Okay, all right. One, two, three. Yeah, that was way back, way down in Union County, which we learned from our mentor, Lovell Coleman, who just passed away last January uh, at age 97. We were fortunate enough to be able to play with him for many years, uh, starting in the early 80s. Uh, had really some interesting and interesting times and good times with him and played in a band called the Lovell Coleman Band up until recently. Speaking of many years, um, you mentioned that you've known Don for a few years. Yes. We, we um, met in 1973, I think. It was a little after that. Uh, Sam Rosetta and I had gone up to the, um, there was a festival at the Northern Virginia Community College, I believe it was, in 1975, early, mm -hmm. and uh, met Don there. And we had this sort of idea of a band and Don was very enthusiastic and said, listen, it sounds really good and you should do a record and I'd like to produce it. Oh, okay. So in September, we started working on it and as part of that trip, I went up to New England to uh, work on some recordings that were going to be part of that record and I met Ellen. With Common Ground. With Common Ground. So I, I actually met... the best old time record to raise that one cut of you guys. Uh, really good stuff. So I met Don before Ellen, actually. Oh. Hmm. Wow. So where are you from, Ellen? In New England? Uh, what? Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, are you? But Sheep's at Bay, which is southern part of New York. South, so if anybody says, well, are you from the South? Oh, yeah. <laughs> south Brooklyn. <laughs> well, we play several other tunes that we learned from Lovell over the years, and one is called Buck Mountain which is named after a little teeny mountain in northern Albemarle County, uh, which we happen to live right next door to for a few years. So there we go. Here's Buck Mountain. Key. Key, key of G. So everyone that's playing along, we are playing key of G. Key of G, yes. So thank you all for playing with well, us. This is just great. Fun, yes. You're very brave. Get on camera for for some new songs. We really oh, appreciate that. It's, it's, I, all, I always like playing music. It's like really making <laughs> music, so it's good. Mm -hmm. 
Want to hear more? You can find bonus songs on ShandonMusicTrail.com. Through oh, Lovell. I think it's a good idea to play another one of Lovell Coleman's tunes. Okay. And what I had in mind was something that Lovell and his band, uh, the earlier band, would always call Margie's tune because the wife of the guitar player, Earl Smith, didn't care for the real name of this tune. And uh, so they started naming it after her, called it Margie's Tune. She would get up and clog when they played Margie's Tune. But the real name is the Pleasure House Rag. No, the real name is Margie's Tune. That's what <laughs> We don't want just to get a family me. squabble here. We're going to keep going. Play. Let's play Margie's Margie. Tune. <laughs> well, Margie, you might be out there. She's a Stanton resident to this day. So. Oh, this is indeed. Okay, here we go. song that our friend Jimbo Carey wrote. Jimbo and his wife Kim live down in Nelson County and they have written, Jimbo has written quite a few songs about local characters in his area and one uh, 
was Walter Sprouse, who was a banjo player and uh, used to hitchhike up and down Route 29 and just carry his banjo over his shoulder with no case or anything like that. And he would go play at various places. So Jimbo wrote this song about him. one more song. This is the New River Train. I grew up and started playing old time music and was very fortunate to meet Mike and his cohorts later. And uh, one of the tunes we learned from Mike was this song, The New River Train. So we'll give this a try. Here we go. One, two, three.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. Mountain Music is funded in part by the Stanton Lions Club, Massanutten Resort, the Mid Atlantic's premier four season resort destination. Visit the Frontier Culture Museum, the living history story of colonial life on the American frontier. AARP Virginia supporting mountain music by seniors for seniors. And by Creative Cause Solutions and Bluestone Fabrics. National Endowment for the Arts. Virginia Tourism Corporation, and the Virginia Commission for the Arts. And everyone knows Virginia is for lovers of mountain music. We'll see you around next week. Have a great week. Bye. Looking for an adrenaline-filled getaway? Or perhaps you prefer the laid-back, relaxing scene? We are your ticket to freedom. Spring forward to new adventures and new daily routines. Break free at Massanutten Resort. Our best-in-class amenities and world-renowned attractions await you. Located in the heart of Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. For the latest resort specials and deals, visit MassanuttonResort.com backslash break free.